Today I'm testing the X77 Aurora. Is it really the brightest light I've tested so far? Stick around and find out. Hello everyone and welcome to Carlight Reviews, where I perform consistent automotive lighting tests to help you make the best purchase decision, save money, and enjoy your car more. This is the X77 Aurora, and like many of my reviews, it is one that a lot of you have been asking me to test. I'm going to do an introduction and unboxing, cover the published specifications and some of the features, and then I'm going to test the brightness and light pattern for both projector and reflector housings and see how it performs. Now, X77 has a pretty impressive lineup of LED headlights, so I got one here for us to test. And yes, it is pronounced X77, and I'm told the team at X77 are fans of extreme sports, so they wanted an X in the name and then they just thought a double seven, 77, would sound cool after it. So that's how they got the name, pretty simple. So more information on X77, in 2013 is when they started selling LED upgrades, and in 2020 they eventually opened up a physical store in Anaheim, California, where they also offer installations. Not many LED light companies can offer that. They also have free ground shipping nationwide, and for Canadian customer, they also offer free shipping, but they have to ask the Canadian customers to pay the import tax. But overall, I think they're a pretty cool and unique company, so let's see if their product matches that. I want to show you something before I open the box. Check this out. Tested before shipping with a date and who tested it. That ensures that what goes into the box works, and what you receive works when you open the box. Speaking of boxes, a couple other things that came in the package not included in the box. A warranty card, a catalog with the other stuff that X77 carries, not just LED headlights. You might want to check that out. And a cool X77 sticker. I love getting stickers and products. I don't know why, I just do. Something else that came in the package, but not in the box, Skittles. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's just get into the unboxing, shall we? More stuff in the box. Business card, user manual. Pretty standard, but these are plug and play. Now I'm told that in addition to the Skittles, they sometimes include bonus gifts. And look what they sent me. Too cool. Some T10 LED lights. Just about any vehicle can use these. Now again, I don't know if this comes in all orders, but it came in mine, and I'm thankful. Check that out. Okay, let's talk about the published specifications of the X77 Aurora. 50 watts each light, 5,000 lumens each light, color temperature of 6,500K. The chip is X77 customized CSP chip, has an hour rating of 50,000. It does have an adjustable collar, and it does have a fan for heat management, as well as an external driver. The warranty is two years on all of their products, and the price at the time of this video, before any discounts, is $99 a pair. Now, pretty standard stuff, and we'll get to testing these in a minute, but I want to cover my initial observations. So you might agree with me, this is overall a pretty good looking light. It's pretty uniquely designed, and you don't see some of the design touches on it uh, on other lights by other companies. Uh, for example, uh, the X here that's embossed by the emitter, or the X77 icon here protecting the fan. It's pretty premium quality. We've got a couple of cooling pipes right here and here. The driver is pretty sturdy, all metal. It doesn't look like it's gonna have any uh, issues with uh, keeping the elements out. Overall, uh, pretty high quality, all aluminum body. But the important part here that you wanna get to is um, how does it test? Well, we're gonna find out. And if you haven't seen how I test LED headlights, check this out. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. 
Check the description of this video for important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the legality of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs. And before I get to my testing, I want to mention it takes me a long time to make each LED video like the one you're watching right now. From setting up the test and recording the output, to compiling the data, to editing the video, and answering the awesome questions that everybody posts in the comments. And this is in addition to the cost of the product and the equipment I use to test it. Now if you find that my videos have saved you money or helped you make a better purchase decision so you can enjoy your car more, help me make more of them. Please visit my Patreon page right below to learn how you can support this channel and help me make more videos for it. You can support my work as for as little as a dollar a month. Click the link below right there for details. I'd also like to give a very special word of thanks to my latest Patreon supporter, Kyle M. from Las Vegas. Kyle, thank you so much for supporting Carlight Reviews, and you be sure to be safe driving that brand new Kenworth T680 that's running lights that I suggested. I am very honored to think that I'm becoming an honest voice in LED lighting upgrades. Plus, if you support Carlight Reviews, you get this cool Carlight Reviews flashlight, not as bright as some of the lights I test, and a cool sticker for you to support wherever you want to. Kyle, I've got both of these and more on the way to you. Now, what you've been waiting for, let's see how the X77 Aurora did in my projector and reflector output tests. And here's the projector. And yes, you are seeing that correctly. 2,190 lux. That is 1,465 lux over the halogen 725 lux measurement, or around three times brighter than halogen. This light is without a doubt the brightest LED headlight I've tested so far for initial light output. It is 419 lux higher than my previous leader, the Bevency V45. It is so bright that I had to change the setting I use for reflector tests because my meter won't read four digits over 2000 lux. Now make no mistake, you must aim this light carefully and correctly or you will blind oncoming traffic, which is dangerous for them and for you. However, that brightness did fade because after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the US, it only retains 67% of that light output, resulting in 1,470 lux over time. 745 lux over halogen, and 15 lux less than the Bevency V45 after 27 minutes. So this light is being driven quite hard to get that initial brightness. And looking at the projector light pattern compared to stock, for it being that bright, it still controls the light pretty well. Nothing is jumping out at me of concern, and the common weak spot right here isn't bad at all. This light has very good chip placement according to my test housing. Now, let's take a look at how the reflector does. It isn't surprising that my reflector test results in 4,670 lux, or 3,760 lux over the halogen 910 lux. Once again, this is the brightest LED headlight I have tested so far for initial light output. But as mentioned, after 27 minutes, it retains only 67% of that light and is reduced to 3,135 lux, which is 2,225 lux over halogen. Now for the reflector housing, this does take the top spot for brightness for not only initial, but also after 27 minutes from the Bevency V45. After 27 minutes in the reflector, it is 401 lux higher than the Bevency V45. Now I can't stress this enough, I gotta say this again, you must aim this light as accurately as possible or you're gonna blind people, putting you and them in danger. Speaking of which, let's see how it, well it controls the light compared to halogen. Again, surprisingly, for as bright as what this is, it controls the light very well in a reflector. There's no major scattering along the top cutoff, which is very good for a light this bright. In fact, I've tested lights that are not nearly as bright that scatter the light more along the top. I also noticed that it is very full right here on the right, which is useful for visibility in the ditch area or side of the road when driving. Sometimes, of the lights that I've tested, that gets weak over there. Now you can see that there is some scattering right here in the lower left corner, but not too bad and not a critical area. Now while my tests show that this is pretty good in a reflector, different housings may not have as good of results in real world scenarios, so again use with caution. As mentioned, there's a published rating of 50 watts per light, and I observed higher than that, 54.2, which is uncommon for a light in my testing to exceed the published specifications on the wattage. And that high wattage is definitely shown in the initial output. Now for heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my FLIR thermal camera recorded a very hot 315 degrees Fahrenheit for the main unit, and slightly higher than average 137 degrees for the driver. 
Now, for reference, the Farron Forcher that I tested and released in the video previous to this one measured 118 degrees Fahrenheit for the main unit, less than half as hot. The driver for the Farron Forcher, however, was similar at just 4 degrees cooler. Now, again, I say this for reference only since I just started testing with the thermal camera. But for additional reference, in 60 seconds, a halogen bulb reaches 725 degrees Fahrenheit, and it can go higher after that. Now this is a good light for the right situations. If you want to say that you've got the brightest light that Carlight Reviews has tested, this is the one to get. At least so far in my testing. However, you got to take the trade-offs. That brightness drops off quite a bit over time. I mean, it's still super bright, but it also gets very, very hot. Now the quality of the materials, the two-year warranty, and the fact that this is made by a company that seems to be able to give you a much more personal touch than other LED light companies can't be ignored. I mean, they've got a phone number right on their website that when you call it, they answer. I'd like to test more of their lights in the future, so let me know if you'd also like to see how this stacks up against the other X77 offerings. And speaking of which, let me know your thoughts overall on this lighting powerhouse. Now, it wasn't planned that my video released just before this one was me stating that the Fair Enforcer was my new top choice for the money, and then the one right after it, which is this video you're watching, is the brightest I've tested. That tells me that LED lights are just getting better and better. Links to where you can get the X77 Aurora are in the description below, and if I've got any coupon codes to save you any money, I'll include them there as well. Now, you can also find a link in the description to the free spreadsheet that I update with every video release that shows the specs of all the lights I've tested, so you can compare this one to everything else in one easy view. And this video was made based on the suggestions from you, my viewer. So if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, leave a comment, I'll definitely check into it. And of course, don't forget to become a Patreon supporter and help make future videos like this one happen. Or at least subscribe and hit the bell, let me know you appreciate my work. Any level of support is helpful and certainly appreciated. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more. Keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.